Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening where within the face shrine we have our dungeon item allowing us to pick up the heaviest things possible. With only a few more rooms left to explore, we seek our way around. Let's go grab ourselves some treasure chests, eh? Luigi said and done when there's lots of spikes, well, fairy type of things coming around, but with a boomerang we'll be able to get fairies from them no problem, lovely jubbly. Anti-fairies or whatever they're called. They'll just be simply defeated like that. I'm wondering if I can push that to get the bombs, which is indeed true. But to be honest, I can't have more than 50... Oh, okay, 58 of them now, my goodness. Got tons of bombs, tons of bombs indeed. Well, I may as well take the treasure chest first then. And we got 200 rupees! You're ecstatic! I am indeed. Right, apart from that... It seems that to do whatever I need to do here... Okay, that was just so I could get to the chest, but why is this here? Ah, to let myself back out. I was wondering why these horse heads were actually here. And there we go, broken fruit, and we're out of here. So easier said than done when these things are coming after me, but they can't take my HP because I'll just boomerang them in the face. And regain them from fairies. That's the way we do it, so let's head down then with a... Never room to explore, but we got ourselves mini bosses that we've met before. Let's deposit bombs out oh, directly in their mouths, I was gonna say. Okay, you you yeah, you come this way. I don't mind if I get attacked by you a little bit. I've got the lovely Oh, you eat the other bomb, that's great by me. There you go. And if you guys give out fairies anyway, we're fine and we take half damage from you, so it's not a problem. Just deliver the bomb straight to the mouth! That's one way to do things, and is that way back and forth from there, just in case we need to jump over or something? I don't know. Well, let's keep on continuing and find ourselves the way over there. We do have ourselves a small key, so let's keep on trucking. Find ourselves a secret key somewhere. With all that said and done, I'm just going to open this and say you the... Okay, we got the Nightmare's Key! From range, how did we open that up? I don't understand, I was nowhere near it. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair, I was just chucking these jars, what's going on? To open a treasure chest, use the pots around it. So what, well, I couldn't have opened it normally and I had to throw the jars in it, but... Considering where I accessed from, it was just a bit... No-brainer for me to do that, I guess. i kind of confused by it opening up so easily for me. But still, with that done, we only have ourselves the boss door to get to and only one pathway to go to it from. He says, but there's some really weird rooms with some really weird kind of entries and exit points. Anyway, so I can't really judge. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm so near the wall that the boomerang won't come out. We're all the same, aren't we going back into a room with a ton of ghosts? You keep trying to stop me wherever I go! Okay, you stay there. I beat up the whole lot of them and then put a bow on them. Fine by me, free for the price of one bomb, or two bombs for the price of four, but... Okay, to get back to where we were, or to get back around to the rooms we have not explored, with the gravity thing that I try to avoid, is this way, is it not? I should just grab myself even more bombs, but to be honest, 49 bombs is fine, isn't it? I need any more than that, surely. Okay. So jumpy jumpy time. Lots of item switching at the moment, isn't there? Let's not fall down the spike pit ever again. And simply make it over. So the boss door seems to be this way past you, sir. Ah, uh, okay, you suck us in, but I'm guessing ow to be able to get out of this room what you portal me back here so if I fall in I'm not getting any further I'm guessing what I had to do to get out of that room was to defeat all the enemies within it nasty 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 little thing though going on there. ow how do I fall that far Okay, I guess I didn't press up to grab, but we'll take our health back. 
One, two, three. We'll give that another go. He says, but to be honest, I instantly got put. Oh, so only if I get pulled into. To be honest, though, all I really need to do is make them spawn and defeat themselves. I should have thought that in the first place, but we got ourselves Mr. B. Oh, and one of you. Okay. A Beemos. Uh, can I just walk diagonally and hope to make it? That looked quite nasty. Whatever he was shooting is laser beams. Okay, have a bomb there. It's going to hopefully explode at the right time. Oh! I thought I got that perfect. That's not going to be perfect. That's going to be very wrong. That one, however, should blow him straight off. Apart from that, he's making it through to where we need to go. And a boss door is right in front of us. Okay, so with the boomerang, we should be able to restore a little bit of our HP. Just wondering what can be done here if we light the other two torches. Well, nothing bad seems to have happened, but we got a do 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 puzzle completion tone. Hmm. What kind of puzzle was he even complete? Oh, it destroys those and gives us fairies? Ah! Makes sense, I guess, in the end, but still. I see our dungeon item comes to help, eh? He says, oh, hello, sir. We recognize you from our trips in oracles. Hey, dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. I know what your weak point is, sir. Bombing your brain. So getting the bomb to actually hit you at the right time is probably another story. Look at me, I'm on it. Oh. Pride comes before a full epic dodging spree is not so much an epic dodging spree. Let's get a sword out, eh? Just to be honest, I can hunt down these tiles. We know what we're doing with you. We even know your name, Facade. And you're using the pots as well and opening holes in the middle of nowhere. As long as we keep on moving. Okay, listen up. The windfish wakes up. Everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. It's such a shame we've met before on this Link's journeys in the Oracle of Games. Because your strategy was completely revealed to us, no problem. Another hard container is ours, another instrument to claim. You've got the Coral Triangle. With its lovely one note flurry, that's for sure. Mountain, something calls from the mountains. Well, we may get a clue like that, but to be honest, whenever we really want a clue, we either ask Mr. Owl, or we ask Mr. Ulrira. Hoot! The many monsters of this island fear that the windfish is about to awaken! The monster's power is real! They may conquer the island and destroy their foes! That day may come soon! Now, go to the mountain tower! Fly like a bird! Hoot hoot! Go to the mountain, it says, fly like a bird, you say, the cryptic clues you give me are completely useless to me. Let's get ourselves back on land and find out exactly where we are in the scheme of things. Now, I know where some secret seashells are, basically, thanks to comments and all that, people telling me to go back and check certain areas, even where certain heart pieces are that I may have missed, thanks to your comments, so it's about probably time to get some of them. But it's also time, at least for me, to find Mr. Olila. Where are you at, sir? In fact, we're near the seashell mansion at the moment. How many have we... Well, we've got 16 at the moment, so... Can we get ourselves a reward for giving some in? Ah, it only measures it every time. Supposedly, if I went there exactly when I had 5 or 10, no response. You must not have enough shells. We would have got ourselves more secret seashells. But only if we came with the exact number will we have got another one. Well, that said, let's find Mr. Oliver's phone booths. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to bash you out of the way and find out what he says to do next. Because 
be honest, the clues he gives me are usually quite a lot more helpful, you could say. Let's jump down over here. We should be able to get to where we need to be to at least pick ourselves up one secret seashell. Then, by Animal Village, there should be a phone booth, if I'm right in saying, on the way. Excuse me, guys, coming through. For Mr. Oliva's phone booth. There is one right here. Ow, ow, ow. I hate that guy, but he doesn't damage me that much thanks to my blue armor. Bring, bring, hi, it's Olvira. Have you heard of the flying rooster of Mabe Village? In the good old days, he used to give us rides if we held it above our heads. Now, it is lying under the weather cock. Is that useful for you? I hope so. Bye. Because you seem to give us things to do when we can do them, but not necessarily useful at any point in time, really. Because, I mean, we've got ourselves a new song, but no way to use it. So he gives us info a little bit earlier. So Mabe Village seems to be our destination, and I've just realized I don't even have a shovel to pick up what's here, but there's a secret seashell lying right here, oh no! I guess we've got to head down to the beach and get rid of the boomerang for a bit. Well, that said though, let's warp ourselves over to Mambo's Pond. Or, yes, that one. So many songs after all. Maybe change over what we have. See about this rooster, eh? Even though we're supposed to be heading back into the mountain, the fly like a bird thing might come in handy. Mr. Olrira, he's the one who always tells you exactly what's what. He's a very knowledgeable fellow, pretty much. Very, very helpful guy. Very lovely chap. We like him so, that's for sure. Excuse me. Coming through, zombies. Out of my way. I've got level two now, don't you know? We said, considering we've just got that item, is that what we're using to be able to unlock whatever is going on with this rooster? Sorry, didn't mean to hit you, Cuckoo. Oh, whoa, no, no, we're not picking it up, we're just pushing it. Well, the weather vane is opened, and something is extremely dead. But with that said, it might be dead. And maybe Orira has something a little bit better with this. He's already led us to solution. For it is Song of Resurrection. Wow, the rooster has recovered. I like that wording. He seems very friendly. Oh, he really is if he's following me around everywhere. Wow, okay, then let's go, guy. Alright, so we obviously need ourselves to get the shovel, but apart from that, there's heart pieces to find, things to pick up that you guys have mentioned, and I've missed along my way, so maybe we're doing that next. But all the same, with, I guess with the whole fly like a bird thing, this guy might be quite useful. For our further adventures, don't you think? All the same for now. For now, let's get ourselves our shovel back, even though it loses our beautiful boomerang of ultimate power. So we may claim secret seashells in the name of me and you and everyone. Sir, I would like my shovel back, please. Give me back the boomerang, I beg you. I'll return the item you gave to me. Okay, sure. Hopefully I can get the boomerang any time again. The item came back to you. You return the boomerang. Hopefully I can trade it over yet again. To be honest, we are a little bit far away from where we need to be. Shall we walk to Mambo's Pond or maybe just walk upwards from here? The question comes in how easily we can get up and down from a point. Let's have a look here. Let's go, Mr. Rooster. Me and you on an adventure into the ghost's house yet again. Right, so, let's test your skills, eh? Oh, you can actually just fly forever? Pretty epic rooster is pretty epic, if it can keep doing that forever and ever and ever. Well, all said and done, we need to get kind of that away and secret seashells will be mine. You found a secret seashell. If you collect all of these, something good is bound to happen. Indeed it is. Well, that brings us up to 17. Come with me, Rooster. 
We've got places to be, people to see. More to the point, more secret seashells to gain. Ow, sir. Right then. As we head back round to where we were before, there's still lots of other things to find, lots of items to pick up. Can I just use you to... Ah, oh, that would have been good. Could fly straight up there. Would have been handy, wouldn't it? To be honest, we need to go near the castle for many, many things involving you, don't we? Because there's one massive gap, and then people have said there's a hot piece there as well in the water somewhere. Round we go, where we stop, well, we do know. I'm glad Mr. Eel didn't come and get me. And we make it nicely round, and with the shovel in hand this time. Dig ourselves up something else we need. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Right then, with that done, let's head over. It's kind of that castle we want to head towards, but to be honest, we might get to other rewards faster. If we just come round into the animal village yet again, hopefully you won't be caught up by Marin's... Marin singing? Marin? Where are you, though? Someone said they wanted me to visit a house over here, didn't they? Yippee, and you broom, superb! Why have you broomed all the way over to here? I, dr I dreamed that I turned into a carrot last night. What an odd dream, I I'm sure, but... Supposedly there's something... Oh, what's going on? I'm not even controlling that. Hey, you can see me? You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. Hi there, it's me, the photographer. You say Zora is in the house? I have to take a picture of that. I'll call it, I found Zora. Sure thing, me and Zora are best of friends. Though I'm standing in the water and don't look too happy about it. Yes, someone said to revisit here after getting the magnifying glass and there is odd things going on, that's for sure. More pictures gained for a side quest. Okay then, warping time. Hopefully you come with me, Mr. Rooster. There's one of the places we've got to go. And one of the things I've missed is back in a cave I've already explored. So, with the Pegasus boots, we're going to break our way through, of course. I'm guessing it's going to get to me. No, it got away in time. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for you, aren't I, Mr. Rooster? And supposedly, I have to look for a Walter Bomb. And there we go, because I've been promised another heart piece prize. That's a very hidden little place, that's for sure. Well, we get ourselves a piece of heart. Press select on the subscreen to see. There's only three more pieces of heart in the game left now. So with that said, let's keep on going round. And hope to get even more prizes, eh? Oh, I know it's a weird object then. I know there must be one some way to tackle this obstacle. But that's the way we're actually going to use. Just smashy smash. Not Mr. Smashy Smash, just Smashy Smash. Get out of my way. Coming through, we got places to be, people to see. Locations to check out. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. We're on a sub-suggestion hunt. The best times, because it always gets me the most items. Ow! I just want to chop the grass, sir. I just want to chop the grass. So, with Mr. Rooster in our possession now, we can make it no problem past massive gaps. And I'm guessing that's what's going to help us so much. Oh, probably got rid of Mr. Rooster there. Probably not so good. We found ourselves a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen, as we know. Okay, Mr. Rooster's back. Thank goodness he's not insulted with my throwing him around the place. With that said and done, there's one more location nearby we should be checking, actually. Hmm, how do we get round there nice and fast-ish? Well, if we come down this way... Or maybe not, hmm. The location we want to go is to the water, because there was one little bush, of course. A little bit away from the rest. That'll be another nice little prize for us. Here we go, this is the right path, because if you remember as we went up, the weird bush left alone on an island. Hopefully, 
our next secret seashell, and if I'm right in saying, our 20th, which is exactly the amount we need. So where is the secret seashell hut from here? Seashell Mansion is right next to Calumet Castle. So let's get moving, ASAP, super speed. For one last final reward, thanks to your guys' comments. Some of them were a bit more obvious, including certain secret seashells, if you know what I mean. But other ones were, you know, just me kind of going, uh, really? I'd have probably missed them outright, especially that heart piece. My goodness. There's certain ones that I'd have come back for, like that bush. But you guys help me out a ton whenever I do these Let's Plays, so yet again, thank you. And with that said, Seashell Mansion is reached. And with 20 reached, my job here is finished. And a new sword is ours with some crazy musical tracks. You've got a new sword! You should put your name on it right away! And so we can now shoot our sword beam lasers! What a beautiful sword! So with one last final upgrade gained, and able to do double the damage, I'm sure we continue on the next episode to find ourselves one more heart piece that you guys mentioned, and then head into the mountains. So thank you guys for all your comments, all your tips, all your advice. We've got ourselves a lovely new tool to use against our enemies. I'll see you around for more Link's Awakening. Bye-bye.